It's Friday, June the 7th. I'm Alicia Smith and in the news we now know the ages of the teens involved in a horrific crash that sent a 28 year old man to the hospital. Detroit police tell us that there were two 19 year olds, an 18 year old and one 14 year old in the first vehicle. This happened around 2.30 this morning on Whitcomb and Outer Drive on Detroit's west side near Renaissance High School. Police say those four teens blew through a stop sign and hit the driver of another car. We're told that 28-year-old driver in the second car is in critical condition. Police say the teens are hurt. They're in stable condition. They only had minor injuries. Not clear which one of those teens was driving that vehicle. Landmarks are going orange tonight to call attention to gun violence. The Sterling Heights halo on Hall Road is one of those landmarks. It'll be lit up in orange tonight at 830. Supporters of the Wear Orange for Gun Violence campaign will be there to remember victims and survivors. A Spirit of Detroit statue will also be lit up in orange for the cause this evening. Well, it's time for kids and the young at heart to kick off their shoes. The world's largest bounce house is inflating in Stephens Park and Frazier. It opens at 1 o'clock this afternoon. There will be separate sessions for toddlers, kids, and yes, adults too. The bounce house will be open through Sunday and again next weekend. So hopefully the weather will cooperate, Hallie. Yes, we need the dry weather, we need light winds, and we have both today at least. Those winds will be increasing tomorrow, so heads up. But temperatures in the upper 70s today it does look nice with that sunshine. And then we'll keep things clear and fairly mild. It's seasonable overnight, 57 for a low. We'll top off at 81 degrees for your Saturday, upper 70s. More cloud cover on Sunday. Sunday kind of transitioning into somewhat weather Sunday night into Monday. Monday's highs just a, a shy below average in the mid 70s. All right, sounds good. Some for slurp meteorologist Hallie Vogel. Well, if you're feeling lucky, get this more than a half a billion dollars is up for grabs in the Mega Millions drawing. The whopping $530 million jackpot going to be picked tonight, hopefully. If you win, the cash option would be $344 million. You can get tickets in stores and online until 1045 tonight. The drawing is at 11 o'clock, and we will bring you the numbers tonight on 7 Action News after the NBA Finals. Those are your headlines. Don't forget, you can get news anytime on WXYZ.com and our WXYZ mobile app. I'm Alicia Smith. Have a great weekend.